For my data mining project, I chose to look at movie data collected from the Internet Movie Database on roughly 20,000 movies. The purpose of my study here was to determine the best release time for a movie to get the best ratings and if there was any trends on these ratings based on release date. The data I was working with contained 20,168 movie titles from the Internet Movie Database over seven years and it included release date, movie rating, director, genre, and cinematographer. The data itself was pretty messy. I had to remove movies that had no rating, had a rating less than 50 to get rid of uh, movies that weren't really rated at all, had no release date, and this left me with about 20% of the data. When I got the data, it came in a Java file which generated a CSV. Um, this was a little re weird, but apparently it was due to licensing issues with the data. Uh, once I had the CSV, I could import the file into a spreadsheet. Um, there were some blank values, which I basically just converted to null. So, um, you know, you didn't have null values and blank values. It was all the same across the board. And then I used the... Uh, the metrics that I have on the previous page in order to filter the results and then I went ahead and extracted the month and date from date release so I can work with that. I didn't really care about year. I want to look at when the month the movie was released based on the rating and I wasn't really looking at the year at the moment. And then I could export this as a CSV and put it into R to look at it further. Looking at a summary in R, we can see that the typical rating of a movie is around 5.7 and a lot of movies were released around June, so the summer. And uh, our medians and mean are very close, which tells me there's not too many outliers. This here is a graph of the data. As you can see, a lot of the data is around the average rating and um, basically it looks like I could have probably used a rating between 2 and 8, but uh, I did try this and the data itself just looks the exact same due to scale. Uh, so I just kept it this way and uh, the results were quite good as you'll see here in a moment. Using the DB indexes, I was able to determine that 14 clusters would be my best bet uh, to actually look at the data. Um, you can see here the centers of each cluster. Um, it looks pretty nice and I can uh, see a lot of good results coming from this, which I'll explain in a few slides from now. Here's a simple visualization of the clusters. Here we see the centers again. Um, after looking at the data, you can see that about every two to three months, there's an average cluster rating of about 5.5, which is about around the average rating of a movie. So this could be like a family that only goes to the movie once in a while. Um, there could be you know, a short animation movie coming out every two to three months for children. Um, you do notice this stops from October to March, which could be maybe you know the holidays, so those typical moviegoers are no longer going in that uh, time frame. Um, you notice that there's no real cluster in December either, so people could be too busy for the holidays to actually uh, give ratings to movies. There's a lot here that needs to be explained. And you see the highest ratings are in April, July, near October. So in three-month intervals again. So again, this could be your typical person that goes, you know, once every three months. Um, it's, it's, it's quite nice data when you look at it. It would be nice to take this data further. Um, due to time constraints, uh, I couldn't really look too deeply into the data, you know, explain why I saw what I saw on the previous slides. It'd be nice to cluster based on genre, and maybe that could explain, you know, why there's an average rating of 5.5 every three months. They could be animation movies, they could be action movies, see what kind of movies they actually are. Um, it also might explain why in certain clusters there's uh, competing clusters like one cluster has a low rating one cluster has a high rating maybe you know an action movie does better 
in March versus an animation movie, but delay in September. The animation movie does better than the action movie. This would be quite nice to actually have uh, looked at if time allowed. There was some problems with the data. At first, it looked like a nice, you know, amount of data to work with. But once you get rid of the records you can't use, it's only about 20% of the total data I could actually use. Um, there was lots of missing data, you know, like missing release dates, which I had to get rid of. And it didn't really format nicely. When I exported the CSV from the Java file, you know, actor names were kind of just stuck in with the title. So I couldn't really do much with that unless I had a, um, a lot more time to work with it. Then I can actually cluster based on actor names too. In conclusion, there was a lot of time spent on planning what to cluster. Um, I would, you know, try to cluster something and then find out later that it just wouldn't work. Um, what I have now is actually quite nice. You can see that there are trends in the data. Um, and there's plenty of potential there to research more and figure out when and what type of movie should be released um, to target the best audience if you are worried about ratings. Because you know, typically a rating would give you better profits. So that would be some data I would actually like to have too is box office sales. Um, I didn't have access to this data. It might be somewheres, but I couldn't find it and it wasn't included in this data set. That is the end of my video presentation. Um, if you'd like to know where I got the data or see the data, let me know and I'll uh, forward it off to you there. Um, I hope you enjoyed.